Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, Mike is going to drive. Mostly because when you're in the car, it's hard to not take damage. And there's plenty of things that will just, you know, drive around trying to hit me. And since he's so injured, I'm just going to let him, you know, tear through on this place. Besides, Neil's already got boomerangs. If I find something, then that's not going to help. Wow, I'm surprised he's not killing those guys in one hit. Or taking out their two different parts in one hit. Um... Actually, is Leo hurt at all? Yeah... Whatever, I'll just use Leonardo because I don't like what's coming up next. And if Michelangelo gets that food, then he's going to be less prepared for what's coming up. So... Yeah... The state... The game will just randomly switch the enemies like, per area, as you're walking through. There's, like, three different enemy sets. And, well, this is probably the easier one, but doesn't appear... Well, some of the enemies in this set don't appear until this stage. We already saw the fire guys before. Hmm. Actually, I don't... I think that number I just stated is incorrect as far as the number of enemy types. Or sets, or whatever. Oh, hey! Boom, or not boomerangs. Shuriken. That's great for Donatello. Ah, uh, why did everything have to respawn? Quit respawning and die. So, this is, in my opinion, a much harder jump than the last one. Mostly because if you screw up, you gotta go through more. And the ceiling overhead, I think, is lower, so it's kinda harder. I don't wanna fuck this up. Go! Yes! Awesome! Raphael's full health. All I have to do is come through here, get these missiles, and then I don't need to worry about coming through that really hard jump ever again. Go away, die. Die, die, die. Oh, man. Yeah, those guys are kind of a problem. Donatello can take care of them pretty easily, and anyone with boomerangs can as well. But, hey, whoa. Yeah, I thought that another one was going to spawn in. Apparently, I just get a bunch of balloons. Anyway, I'm going to let these guys walk off the edge, because they're too dumb to not. Even if they didn't, I could boomerang them from the other side. So it's not a big deal. Now, if I could find a uh, triple split shuriken, that would be great, because then that would be going to Donatello. And he would be... in fucking incredible, basically. Like... He would just be able to kill everything from long range, even longer range than he normally has, and he'd be able to hit high and low with it. Because, you know, they split out like the Contra spread, only there's three shots instead of five. It's pretty freaking nice. I really like that. The reason I'm coming back into this place is to grind health. That's pretty much all you would do, is walk in here with someone who's probably already hurt, but doesn't need the health so badly. I like to use Leonardo just because he's, like I said, the most well-rounded. So you can basically just walk through here swinging like wildly and not get hurt and kill everything he comes across. So I'm going to do that a couple more times so Leo and Mike are at full health as well as Raph and Don who I think aren't even hurt. So I'll see you guys after I'm done grinding. Okay, I'm back. And it just occurred to me, I never mentioned this, but I think Leonardo actually gets a slight power boost when he's injured as well. I don't think he gets as much as Mike does, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, on the way out, Leo got hit once, so he's missing a whole half a block of health. Oh no! That's really good enough for me. Next pit stop, we need to make those here. Actually, I don't think we technically even need to come in here, because... The path I'm going to take through the rest of the stage basically takes me right to the end. Hey, no jumping. It's my job. But there's something in here I want to get. Something very powerful I want to get. Oh no, frog guy! He's going to fall down the hole. Actually, those frog guys are pretty bad. Like, they do a buttload of damage, and if you went the wrong way, uh, there's a rooftop you can find where one basically comes out of nowhere and hits you and just gets all over your nuts and you can't get him off. Oh, wow, that's a whole lot more fire guys than there's supposed to be. There's only supposed to be two. Why are there four? That was... Uh... Borderline terrifying. 
kill the hell out of all these guys. Switch to Mike because I want him to get this thing. He might get hit immediately. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Man, that was a lot of damage. That thing really just do a block and a half to me? Wow. That's not cool. Anyway, those are the ninja or nimpo scrolls. Whatever. Oh, wow, he didn't fall down the ladder. I thought he was going to fall right down the ladder and I wouldn't have to worry. Anyway, they do crazy damage. And they just go in a big wave in front of you, so... I really like those for Mike, instead of, say, Dawn, because... I could get them for Dawn. They wouldn't be bad at all. But it's not, like... Imp it's not imperative that I get them for him. Whereas for Mike, um... Well, since I'm only going to be using him when he's really injured, or as like a last-ditch situation, might as well make him as last-ditch as possible and give him the most powerful weapon as well. So, the reason I kept going through that stage down to the sewers is that there was a full pizza that I would have liked to have gotten, but it wasn't a terribly important thing because I'm pretty sure there's going to be health like before the last building I'm going to go into. Yeah, you see, these guys are pretty much impossible to avoid. Sometimes you can jump out of the turtle van and instead of being ran over, which I never mentioned, those steamrollers are one-hit kills on your turtles. They just flatten you into a pancake, you die. But sometimes they just disappear if you jump out of the turtle van, like this guy might. So, yeah, like that. So, that is an idea, but I wouldn't rely on it because I've seen it not work. <laughs> and that's kind of scary when you're like, Oh, I'll just come out of the van and he'll go away and I won't have to worry. Oh my god, he's going to run me over! So, yeah, don't rely on that. Like, I did it when I was on the other side of trees because he can't drive through those. Mostly safe. If that didn't work, I could have just stepped off the van, stepped back into the van, and fine. Um, wow, could we not spawn guys behind me like that? Or how about we just spawn guys- stop spawning, period. Ah, <sighs> fucking fire guys. Not fun to deal with. These jumps are annoying, but they're not, like, stupid hard, like the that two-gap jump with no ceiling. You do want to be pretty careful coming through here. Like, I like to jump out and then come back because you have a lot of mobility in the air. And that gives you enough time to, like, see what's coming up. Like, if something's going to spawn, I can come back, land, be safe, and then kill it. Without having to do a split second reaction and swing, like, when they're right over me. Um, Mike's more injured? And there should be a full pizza, like, further in. Now, unfortunately, I think you guys are going to spawn about max jump height here, so I'm going to have to swing. Or not. Great. That is, that's really good. <laughs> I thought he was going to appear, like, right under this thing and try and hit me as I went across. Which I don't want to have happen at all. Step back, let him fall in the water, kill him, and proceed. Yeah, I've kind of played this game a lot, unfortunately. Or fortunately, as the case may be. Not enough that I can beat it flawlessly, but enough that I'm pretty confident in my ability to not die. After all, look at this. In the third stage, everyone's at full health. I think. Yeah, we're at full health. Let's come through here and try and do good. Good, better, okay-ish. Um, yeah, I hate these fire guys. Leo's actually not a good choice for them. Maybe with boomerangs he will be, but uh... Yeah, this guy's going to keep respawning, and Leo does too little damage to kill them while just going forward. Unless, of course, he does that. If I didn't have boomerangs, I would actually use Donatello. And forget these ladders, if I can jump up to the ledge, I most certainly will. Actually, someone was telling me that the ledge where the missiles were, and the first building I went to on this level, I could have actually just jumped up through that tiny ledge. I've never seen it done, and uh, while trying before, it didn't work, so... Eh? I, I kind of forgot to make an attempt on screen, but... If it works, cool for you. If it doesn't work, um... 
Well, that's just what I heard. I did it the way that I always do it. And, of course, boss time, so get Donatello out. It is, I'm, I'm assuming this is supposed to be Slash, but really he just looks like evil Leonardo to me. Which, technically, Slash uses every turtle's weapon. There we go. And now I want to switch to Wrath and get Boomerangs out for Jetpack Guy, Jetpack Guy. I don't like you, quit trying to fall on me. You fell on me. You're a bastard. Eat Boomerangs. Just fill the sky with Boomerangs so that they'll hit him no matter where he goes. Don't even worry about losing them. Well, unless that happens. Unless you actually lose all of them. Oh, fly back into it. Cool. Don't care that Raphael has no more boomerangs. Well, I slightly care. <laughs> but it's not that big a deal. I'll get something else for him. Or I'll just spread out the 10 I have left for Leo. So, apparently... I don't even... We got Splinter back. We got April back. Apparently, we're just out to stop Shredder and the Foot Clan for good now. We don't even care about saving anyone. So, that's kind of uncharacteristic of the Turtles, at least as far as the show is concerned. Maybe it's more like them in the comics. They were kind of bloodthirsty, as I've been told. Anyway, Stage 4 will have to wait till next video. So, Class Corner signing out. See you guys later.